Once upon a time, deep within a dense jungle, there lived a clever fox named Cairo. Cairo had been wandering the forest all day, his stomach growling with hunger and his throat dry from thirst. After hours of searching for food, Cairo's sharp eyes spotted an old well ahead. Perfect, Cairo thought, I'll drink some water first to quench my thirst, and then I'll figure out how to satisfy my hunger. As Cairo neared the well, he noticed a small herd of sheep grazing nearby, peacefully munching, on the lush, green grass. A sly grin spread, across Cairo's face. Ah, what luck, first, I'll drink some cool water. Without wasting any time, Cairo leaned over the well to drink. But the water was too low to reach. And then I'll enjoy a nice meal of sheep, he thought to himself. And as he tried, to peer down, his paws slipped, on the edge, with a loud splash. Cairo fell headfirst into the deep well, help, Cairo cried, flailing in the water, no matter how hard he tried. The slippery walls of the well, were too high and smooth to climb, his heart pounded in panic. I'll never get out of here on my own, I need a plan, Cairo thought, just then, a sheep named Lila, wandered over, to the well to get a drink, she peered down and was surprised to see, Cairo struggling below. Cairo, what are you doing down there, Lila asked. Concerned, Cairo, seeing an opportunity to escape, quickly put on his sweetest voice and said, Oh, Lila, my dear friend, I jumped down here to enjoy the cool, refreshing water. It's such a lovely spot. You should come down and join me. Lila blinked, puzzled, but how do you get in? Thinking quickly, Cairo replied, I jumped in, of course. The water is so refreshing, and it's much cooler down here than out in the hot sun. You should come down, Lila, and we can drink together, once we're both refreshed, I'll help you back out, Lila, being a trusting and innocent sheep, didn't suspect Cairo's cunning plan, really? She asked, it does sound nice, Cairo smiled, hiding his true intentions, oh, yes, much better than standing in the sun, feeling hot and thirsty from grazing all day, Lila nodded, alright, I'll come down, without a second thought. She jumped into the well, as soon as Lila landed in the water, Cairo's grin grew wider now's my chance, he thought, Lila, my dear, Cairo said sweetly, it's a little cramped in here, why don't you stand tall and let me climb onto your back, I'll jump out and then help pull you up, not realizing the trick, Lila nodded that sounds fair, Cairo, with a quick leap, Cairo climbed onto Lila's back and, jumped out of the well, once he was safely on the ground, Lila called up, now help me out, Cairo. But Cairo had no intention of helping her, he chuckled darkly and said, Oh, Lila, I'm afraid there's no room for you up here, enjoy the cool water. With that, Cairo trotted off into the jungle, leaving poor Lila trapped in the well. Lila, though stuck for some time, was eventually rescued by a group of kind travelers who heard her cries for help. She had learned an important lesson that day, never trust someone too easily without thinking things through. As for Cairo, his deceitful ways eventually led him to live a lonely and isolated life, for no one wanted to trust a fox who only thought of himself. The moral of the story is, think carefully before trusting others, as not everyone has good intentions. Blind trust can lead to trouble, but wisdom and caution can protect you from deceit. This story emphasizes the importance of discernment and being cautious when others make promises that seem too good to be true.